It sure had been a rough night at the pub for this light right here. And the customer would like me to just remove all of the old things right here. So let's fix it. First of all, I needed to remove the old cables and this old light bulb. And as I pulled the old light away, I could see this lofty little junction inside of the pole. Yep, that is a whole lot of gaffer tape. Either way, because the customer didn't have a new light at the moment, and he had a robot lawnmower running around, well, we had to do something that would make this cable stay in one piece until we have a new light. And that's what I'm making right here. With everything finished off, I turned on the power once more. I had this lofty the little souvenir and we had a temporary solution to the cable so with that it was time for customer number two the customer used to have a light right here and i realized it had a fault inside so we are putting up a new one today Luckily, we can put everything in level with this little green marker here we can well, mark where to drill in the wall wow how magical is that of course i also filled up the hole behind so we wouldn't just have a massive hole and for a second my brain turned off completely but there we go that's number one just needed to connect the light in this lovely junction box inside gotta love working with 70 years old cables that light number two had also been replaced and the customer had this mirror right here with some old LEDs that were no longer working. She also asked if we could make the light on the mirror turn on with the lights in the ceiling before the switch had been on the mirror. But luckily the old electrician had pulled enough cables so it was possible to change everything up and make the mirror turn on with the lights in the ceiling. And goddamn, would you look at that handsome man in there. The last I was here I also realized that the cable running down to the gate also had a fault inside. Because there was a whole lot of things wrong with this old cable, we decided to change it to an all new one. Before the digger arrived, we also had this old switch which needed to be changed out to a new sensor simply because it's easier for the customer suddenly i opened a light fixture and saw all of these ants inside i mean who even likes ants nowadays either way the digger arrived and he was starting to remove all of the top layer of rocks and i needed to find out whether i could get power to the pole where we had the ants inside this little thing puts noise in the cables that i can now hear over here so as you can hear wow Oh, well, it's the correct cable. You would hope so, because the old electrician had literally written it on the old cable. Either way, it was time to put down the protection because the digger had sure been busy. But there was also this junction box, which needed to be fixed to a new one, because it was just hanging here and we needed to put a sensor up. Either way, now we have a new junction box and now we also have a brand new sensor. Why would you look at that? Just needs a lid. Down in the basement, we had another old junction box and we had a very old switch right here. Another bad boy that's 70 plus years old, probably. And I love how you can just see the mechanical connection inside the old switch. Either way, I changed it to a new sensor and the man with the digger was now full on digging the next part and before the day was over we had a brand new cable all the way underground with some mechanical protection added i could connect the brand new cable and we got lights in the gates for the first time in a very long time we were now also sensor controlled and the gate even worked that's the first time i've seen it run and that's it for today thanks for watching